الحمد لله رب العالمين اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أقدم لكم نفسي المحاضر محمد إسماعيل عبد الله ماجستير طب أسنان وقائي في كلية طب الأسنان جامعة الأنبار محاضر للمرحلة الرابعة في مادة الكميونيتي طب المجتمع الأول لكتشر about epidemiology and indices of periodontal disease assessment. The epidemiology, define epidemiology, study the distribution of disease and application of this study to treatment, control, and prevention of disease. Again, for epidemiology, study the distribution of disease and application of this study to treatment, control, and prevention of disease. Periodontal disease or periodontitis is an infectious disease. It then Periodontal disease is infectious disease a process that involve inflammation of the structure of periodontium. Structure of periodontium composed of gingiva, cementum, ligament, and alifer bone. Periodontal disease can cause a breakdown of the periodontium, resulting in loss of tissue attachment and destruction of the alveolar bone. Destruction or resorption of the alveolar bone, two type, supra bony resorption or infra bony resorption. Supra horizontal resorption of the bone, but infra type or oblique resorption of the bone. Types of periodontal disease. There are two types of periodontal disease gingival disease and periodontal disease or periodontitis. Gingival disease and periodontitis are the two basic forms of periodontal disease. The major form of periodontal disease are gingivitis and periodontitis, and each has variety of forms. Periodontal disease and their etiological factor. Gingivitis. It is an inflammation of gingival tissue, mainly caused by dental plaque. A dental plaque is major factor for gingivitis and periodontal disease. Periodontitis. It is an inflammation of periodontal ligament which may be preceded by any treated gingivitis. Dental plaque. It is soft, non-mineralized bacterial deposit formed on the tooth surface. Calculus. It is a hard deposit that formed by mineralization of dental plaque. Prevalence of periodontal disease. Periodontal di disease widespread in the world. Periodontal disease are the leading cause of the tooth loss in adult. Periodontal disease more common in adult. Almost all adults and many children have calculus on their teeth. With the early detection and the treatment of periodontal disease or periodontitis, most people can keep their teeth for life. Sign and symptom of periodontal disease. The differences between sign and symptom. Sign detected by dentist or doctor 
symptom detected by patient. Patient feel with the disease. Sign and symptom of periodontal disease. Red swallowing or tender gingiva. Bleeding gingiva on brushing or flossing of tooth by using toothbrush or dental floss. Loose or separating tooth or teeth. Pain or pressure when chewing. When chewing, patients suffer from the pain. This indicates for gingivitis or periodontal disease. Bus around the teeth or gingiva. The picture, the two pictures show deposition of calculus and black on the tooth surface. Picture one show accumulation of calculus on the lower anterior teeth with the gingivitis. The picture show high accumulation of calculus calculus of on the two surface indicate for score three of uh, calculus and gingivitis other picture show the deposition or accumulation of dental blood on the labial surface of anterior teeth with the gingivitis also this picture show accumulation of the calculus and the blood on the tooth surface with the gingivitis. The major form of the, uh, gingivitis uh, is a uh, dental blood. Picture uh, one show the, uh, the accumulation of calculus on the lingual surface of the teeth. Second picture show the position of the blood on the upper and lower uh, labial surface of the anterior teeth with the gingivitis. The causes of periodontal disease. A dental blood is the major form, or major factor in causing of periodontal disease or periodontitis and gingivitis. Dental block is the major factor in causing periodontal disease and gingivitis. Dental calculus provide surface for blood to attach. There are two types of calculus supra gingival calculus and Subgingival calculus. Risk factor of periodontal disease. Our factor associated with the prevalence of periodontal disease. Age. The prevalence of periodontal disease increase with the age. Gender. The prevalence of periodontal disease was higher in male than female. This may be related to poor oral hygiene, usually observed among male more than female. Race Black people had more severe periodontitis or periodontal disease than white people. Socioeconomic status Lower social and education individual have higher prevalence and severity of periodontal disease than higher income and educated individual. Poor oral hygiene. The major cause of periodontal disease is poor oral hygiene. Even risk factor of periodontal disease, age, gender, 
race, socioeconomic status, poor oral hygiene. Other factor, genetic factor. These factors are strongly associated with the periodontal disease. Restoration. Overhang filling and rough surface of filling increase degree of blood accumulation and then followed by periodontitis and gingivitis. Teeth misalignment. Periodontal disease is more common in, 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 in misalignment teeth <coughs> as they difficult to clean. Because misalignment teeth difficult to clean of the teeth lead to the periodontitis or gingivitis. Infections. HIV infection, AIDS. <coughs> systemic disease. Many systemic disease such as diabetic. A diabetic have more periodontal disease than control. The periodontal disease seen in systemic disease more than in unsystemic disease. Genetic factor, restoration, teeth misalignment, infection, systemic disease. Now speak about indices used for periodontal disease assessment. There are many types of index used in assessment of periodontal disease or periodontitis. And this is used for blood and debris assessment. Use blood index. Blood index used for the assessment the accumulation of blood on the tooth surface. This index introduced by Sinless and Lou in 1964. Blood index used on all teeth or on selected teeth. Used on all teeth, 28. So, wisdom teeth are excluded, or selective teeth, only use six teeth. No substitution for any missing teeth. In missing teeth, no substitution. Used on all surface, mesial, occlusal, distal, lingual or bilateral surface or selected surface mesial occlusal ling and lingual or bilateral surface this index measure the thickness of blood on the gingiva one third The sixth index teeth are teeth you are used in the blood index for permanent teeth. Upper six is first molar and lateral incisor and uh, first premolar for upper and lower left first molar and lateral incisor and lower right first premolar. This is teeth used. This this is uh, these are six teeth used for permanent teeth for blood index assessment. For primary teeth, use upper E, B, and D, and lower E, B, and D. This is for this is six teeth, uh, uh, six teeth used for primary teeth. Criteria of blood index. Score zero represent no blood, no blood accumulation on tooth surface. Score one represent a film of blood adhering to the free gingival margin. 
on adjacent area of the tube, which cannot be seen with the naked eye. In score one, the plug no seen with the naked eye, but only by using this closing agent or this closing solution or by using dental probe. Score 2 represent moderate accumulation of deposit of the dental block within the gingival pocket on the gingival margin and or adjacent to surface, which can be seen with the next eye. And then score 2 of dental block can be seen with the next eye. Score 3 represents abundance of soft metal of dental blood within the gingival pocket and or on the tooth and gingival margin. And then, a dental blood index criteria 0 normal or no blood. Score 1 represents uh, dental blood. Uh, detected by a probe with the out seen by next eye. Uh, number two, the blood accumulation uh, on the tooth surface can be seen with the next eye. Score three, abundance of accumulation of the dental blood on the tooth surface. This picture show using of DC closing agent or solution or tablet for detected the accumulation of the dental blood on the tooth surface. This closing agent or tablet give pink color uh, for uh, blood that accumulation on the tooth surface. Another type of index used for assessment of periodontal disease, calculus surface index. Calculus surface index introduced by Inibar et al. in 1961. Calculus surface index used to, the, to assess the presence or absence of supra and or subgingival calculus by visual or tactile examination, regardless the quantity of calculus. The criteria of calculus surface index. Score zero represent the absence of the calculus. Normal or no present of the calculus on the tooth surface. Score 1 represent present of the calculus on the tooth surface. In calculus surface index, use only four or six mandibular anterior teeth are examined. Only four or six mandibular anterior teeth are examined. Each tooth divide into four areas, mesial, distal, lingual, and labial or buccal surface. Other type of index used to assess how the gingival disease or periodontal disease. Type, used, type of the index used to assessment the gingival index disease or gingivitis is gingival index. Gingival index, which was introduced by Lou and Silas in 1963. Gingival index could be used in all teeth or selected teeth like in black index. 
gingival index could be used in all teeth or selected teeth like in a blood index and in all surfaces or selected surfaces mesial, distal, lingual or bilateral surface or mesial, lingual and labial surface the examination done by plant pro when assessment of the gingival disease by using gingival index the examination should be done by plant pro partially erupted teeth retained roots lesion and third molar should be excluded and there is no substitution the criteria used in gingival index score zero represent no inflammation of the gingival tissue or normal tissue score one represent mild inflammation slight change in color slight edema no bleeding or probing score two represent moderate inflammation moderate glazing redness bleeding on probing score three represents severe inflammation marked redness and hyperatrophy ulceration tendency to spontaneous bleeding summary for criteria of gingival index score zero normal score one mild inflammation score two moderate inflammation score three severe inflammation these are two pictures show normal gingiva without gingivitis the gingiva show pink in color the other picture show uh, gingivitis in the margin of gingiva moderate gingivitis in this picture also this, this picture show severe gingivitis the picture one show the gingiva edematous hyperatrophy uh, severe inflammation with the bleeding other picture show how can you detect the periodontal pocket by periodontal probe other type of index used for the assessment of periodontal disease periodontal disease index introduced by Ramjord in 1959 this index composed of three components gingival and periodontal component blood component calculus component In periodontal disease index, all the three components will be scored using six Ramjord selected teeth. And then all the three components should be using in this index. The six Ramjord selected teeth are the upper first molar right, upper right first molar, and upper left central and upper first premolar and lower first molar left side with the right central and first premolar this is six teeth for their minute teeth using in periodontal disease index for primary teeth using upper E A and D 
on lower E, A, and D. This is 60s for primary teeth. Gingival and periodontal component. The criteria range from score zero represent normal, no any disease. Score one, two and three represent gingivitis. Score four, five and six represent periodontitis. All area, mesial, distal, buccal, and lingual or bilateral surface is scored as an one unit. All fully erupted teeth are scored. Only fully erupted teeth are scored. There is no substitution for excluded teeth. Other type of index used for assessment of the periodontal disease. This is widely used community periodontal index of treatment need, CBI TN. This index introduced by World Health Organization in 1987 and 1997. The mouth is divided into six parts. The examination should be done by special probe, a uh, special probe, WHO probe. The score is identified by examination of specified index teeth or all teeth. This are teeth used for assessment of the community periodontal index. The upper right, first and second molar, upper right, central incisor, upper left, first and second molar, lower left, first and second molar, lower left, central incisor, and lower right, first and, sec seven, seven, first and second molars. This picture show period WHO probe uh, using to assessment or measure the periodontal uh, bucket. The WHO probe ranged from 0.5 mm to the 11.5. From 0.5 to the 3.5 mm represent normal. Normal, no bucket, no periodontitis. From 4 more than 4 mm represent or present periodontal bucket. From 4 to the 5 shallow bucket and more than 6 mm deep bucket. Criteria of community periodontal index. Score 0 represent no periodontal disease or no periodontitis or normal. Score 1 represent bleeding on probing. When present bleeding on probing, this represent the score one. Score two represent calculus with the blood seen or felt by probing. Score three represent pathological bucket ranged from four to five millimeter. Score four represent pathological bucket ranged from the score or more. When bucket six millimeter or more than six millimeter, this indicate for deep pathological bucket. X when only one tooth or no tooth are present. The criteria of community periodontal index treatment need. Now about treatment need of periodontal disease. Score zero represent no need for treatment. Score 1 represents personal blood, blood control oral hygiene instruction. Score 2 represents professional blood control, scaling and polishing with the oral hygiene instruction. Score 3 represents deep 
سكالينج روت روت بلانينج سيرجيكال سيرجيكال بروسيجر اولسو وذ ذا اورال هايجين انستراكشن ثانك يو فور ليسينغ